let's take a look at activation functions. So when data arrives to a node that, that can perform a computation, all arriving inputted data is summed, and then an activation function is triggered. So the idea here is you have, uh, let's say you have two um, uh, nodes, and you have connections to the, the, out, the output node, Notice that it's summing. That is the mathematical symbol for uh, a sum. And then we have a mathematical um, uh, symbol for a function, right? So it's going to sum it and then trigger the activation function. So the activation function acts as a gate between nodes and determines whether output will proceed to the next layer. The activa activation function will determine if a node is active or inactive based on its own output which could be a range between 0 to 1 to negative 1 to 0. And there's all sorts of activation functions you can put in here. Um, and this is not the full list. And depending on if you're watching a, a beginner, like because I'm going to have this video in more than one course. So if you're in a beginner course, we will not show you uh, the types of activation functions, like literally how they work. But in a more advanced ML one, we will because you will want to know them there. So just understand that, um, you know, if you don't see exactly what these look like, it doesn't matter right now. Okay. So we have linear activation function. So it can't do backpropagation. Um, that's what linear activation functions can't do. So here it just passes along the data. Then we have non-linear activation function. So can do backpropagation, can stack and have many layers. Here we have binary steps. So if greater than threshold, then activate. We have sigmoid used in binary classification, susceptible to, to the vanishing gradient problem. These are things, again, if you are doing real ML with me here, then we will talk about them. If you don't see it in the course, it's because I'm trying to make things easy on you, okay? We have tan H or tan H, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This is a modified scaled version of sigmoid, still su susceptible to the vanishing gra uh, gradient problem, which is something we really want to avoid. Uh, Relu, again, I don't know how to say it properly. Uh, uh, mostly, and we're missing an L there, nobody tell me that, <laughs> okay? Mostly commonly used uh, activation function uh, will treat any negative value as a zero. We have leaky ReLU. This counters the dying ReLU problem with a small slope of negative values. Parametized ReLU, so type of leaky ReLU where the negative slope is fixed at 0.01x. Exponential linear unit, similar to ReLU, no dying ReLU problem, saturates negative large numbers. We have Swish, this is an alternative to, uh, to the ReLU by the Google Brain team. Max out, use it in a, in a max out layer. Choose the output uh, to be the max of inputs. Inputs, soft max, this is something you'll see a lot if you're looking at architectural diagrams, like if you look at the transformer architecture, look for the word soft max. You'll always see these near the outputs. Converts the outputs of probabilities for the multiple classifications. So yeah, you know, I might cover these or we might not uh, based on that course. But y anyway, uh, that is the activation functions. Okay.